Tinnakeratosis, or AK, is the most common precancer affecting 58 million Americans. If left untreated, it can develop into squamous cell carcinoma, or SCC. Now, new advancements in a non-invasive, irradiation-free treatment are becoming available at your dermatologist. Take a look. The sun, while we love its warmth, overexposure to its rays can be harmful to our health, especially our skin. The damage is oftentimes not seen until it's too late. In fact, approximately 58 million Americans are affected with actinic keratosis, or AK. Left untreated, AK can lead to more serious forms of skin cancer, including squamous cell carcinoma, a potentially life-threatening condition. Some of the top uh, mistakes that, uh, that women often make and uh, should avoid is number one, not adequately protecting their skin from the sun. So the UV rays are uh, exquisitely uh, damaging to the skin and the skin needs to be protected from it. And that can be in the form of uh, sunscreens, uh, uh, sunglasses, hats, sun protective clothing. When you're choosing a sunscreen, we tend to prefer that you use a broad spectrum sunscreen that is SPF 50 or green and just simply avoiding direct sunlight whenever possible. Uh, secondly, um, a common mistake uh, that women make is applying a lot of different uh, products to the skin that tend to take away the natural oils and things from their skin and then uh, create a situation where the skin is dry or has other deficiencies that then have to be made up for with applying other products. Sun damage can occur any time of year. About one in five Americans will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. And uh, squamous cell carcinomas are the second most common skin cancer, and uh, actinic keratosis are the precursor lesion to squamous cell carcinomas. The body parts most vulnerable to sun damage leading to AK are not necessarily the ones we typically think of. These tend to be areas that are more thinner skin, such as the eyelids or the lips or the tips of the ears, or simply places on the skin where you're getting more exposure, such as the nose or the chest area and uh, or the tops of the hands. But again, any place that is getting exposed to the UV light. Photodynamic therapy with Amelus or Amelus PDT is a highly effective non-invasive irradiation-free red light therapy, which effectively treats actinic keratosis without scarring. Amelus is a new product that has been developed uh, to treat the entire surface of the skin. And it's formulated in a way that is very easy to apply, it's very soothing to patients, and it can cover an entire surface that has been exposed to the sun uh, so that any precancer along that surface can then be eradicated. From a patient's perspective, uh, it's much more advantageous uh, to treat uh, precancerous lesions uh, before they develop into skin cancers later that might require surgery. The uh, treatment process is pretty smooth and straightforward. Um, I like it because it's uninvasive and it everything occurs start to finish in about a week where other treatments take much longer. And while results can and do vary, the appearance of AK reduction from the PDT treatment are clearly visible. There's many uh, treatments for actinic keratosis that are available on the market. Now, they all have some types of drawbacks. So for instance, freezing the skin will only treat a single lesion. Uh, so if a person has a lot of AKs or if they have AKs in a place of the skin that's uh, very visible, then uh, cryotherapy or freezing the skin would not be ideal. Um, there are other uh, topical therapies that can be applied to the field. Um, however, they tend to be prolonged uh, and so they're not so convenient for patients. The photodynamic therapy uh, is very nice because it can be done in the office by the physician and uh, the patient just has to come in. If they have a few hours, uh, they can uh, have the treatment in the office. One of the benefits is that the skin, instead of having a lot of side effects, it tends to actually have some aesthetic benefits and when the skin uh, begins to heal as soon as the treatment is over and within a week or so the patient has a very nice uh, surface of their skin. Prevention is key. If you suspect you're showing signs of actinic keratosis or other sun damage, consult your dermatologist immediately. And for more information on photodynamic therapy PDT, visit biofrontera-us.com or go to our website, thebalancingact.com.